Okay, now we're at the pole drop. Two hands. Wrap your first leg around it, second leg. Down you go. We're just leaving Station Ack to deliver a school talk. If someone's trapped in the fire, you could get two fire engines if it's really bad because the hose pipe might run out of water. If it's a really, really big fire, one fire engine might not be enough, so we might have to ask for two, three, four. So you're getting across a fire message, what to do in the event of a fire for the children, and also a little bit about what our job entails and our role, trying to make a, a more friendly face to the fire service for the children in the community. If there was a fire not near the fire station, you might not get there in time. What have we got? What have we drive? Fire yes, we drive fire engines with blue lights flashing, so... We do have to go to a fire the blood's fire. pumping for everybody on the fire engine going to any call. The driver's got different responsibilities to everybody else. He's obviously got to get his crew there safely and without harming anybody else in the way. Say if you took someone out of the fire, you might have to make sure they're fine. And... Yeah, brilliant. As well as that, also the first day, once you once rescue them from the fire or the situation. We've had a, a fire before where somebody was rescued and resuscitated about... Eight months after the incident, the family came up to the station to thank everybody, and it's it's a very rewarding time to know that the person that's coming up to thank you wouldn't be alive today if it wasn't for our actions on that day. Go on, last question. Um, what about if any other fire stations got on fire? It'd be very embarrassing for them, but they just call us. I hope you've all learned something. <laughs> My name is Akamot Ali. I run Shanaz Tandoori. During my daytime job, I work as a retained firefighter in Ashburton. It's totally different. It's fun as well. They give you a pager. It can go off any time. You have to run to the station. And if I run, I can make it there hopefully in four minutes. Well, the, the modern retained firefighter does exactly the same work as a whole-time firefighter. Last Sunday, four o'clock in the morning, I was in bed. <laughs> Suddenly my pager goes off, got my clothes on, panicking, <laughs> can I make the shout? They just happen to operate in more rural circumstances that perhaps wouldn't warrant a full-time station. Their job is just as important as our job. The house was burnt down, 75% of the roof was gone before we even got there. Most of the watches have got a, a good balance of people and personalities and there is a very good camaraderie. It's changed my life, really. It's just like another family to me, really. We've just come down now from the pole drop into the kit, kit area where, where we're rigged to get onto the fire engine. There's one for real. Our okay, case, so we've just got a uh, fire four now. Three, two, one, and five nines with both, both pumps. Again, it's an automatic fire alarm. Off we go. Again, obviously now with firefighters as opposed to firemen, and more and more girls are showing an interest in the fire service. We're at a new traveller site, and we're getting wet. Do I want to play Incredible Help? Um, let's see, let's see if I finish doing what I'm meant to be doing, and then maybe... OK, so this is your carbon monoxide alarm. It's called the silent killer, isn't it? You can't see it or taste it or smell it, so there's nothing to let you know that it's in the atmosphere. And, you know, at its worst, it is fatal. After everybody got the carbon monoxide monitors, everybody's carbon monoxide monitors are going mental for ages. Everybody had the same sort of problems where their generators had been too close to their vehicles and they'd been getting slowly poisoned. You just didn't realise until that was happening. We come onto site and straight away we have a fantastic welcome and people are really grateful that we've made the effort to come here and make sure that they're accessing the information. And obviously we're able to provide them with some of the safety equipment like the smoke detectors and carbon monoxide. So yeah, hugely important. And you even get to play The Incredible Hulk. It is, a, it is a way of life, particularly for other members of the brigade who are retained firefighters, it's certainly for them it's a lot more of a way of life because they're on call having to respond to the station from around, from around the city. Uh, but even again, for certainly for us, it is definitely a way of life and an enjoyable one.